Welcome back to the show. The question before the break. Which singer taught herself to play the piano by ear at the age of four? Lady Gaga. Time for today's Skype. Now we are Skyping a dude who is fueled on adrenaline and he seeks out the thrills and spills. Want to find out who? So, his first set of wheels was a three-wheel trike when he was a toddler and his mum said he insisted on racing down steep hills and ramps. After being a freestyle a motocross pro for three years, Mad Mike started drift car racing in 2007 and is now backed by some of the huge brands like Red Bull. And in the 2011 EA Games released Need for Speed Shift Unleashed, which features Mad Mike's 2010 RX-8 car itself. So please welcome, via Skype from Auckland, Mad Mike himself. Hey, buddy. What's up? How, you, do how you doing? Doing good. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, um, we just saw some footage of you um, driving around the Crown Ranges down in Queenstown. It looked exceptional, but because drifting, it's not really allowed to happen in this country, so I'm guessing you had to close the roads. Well, I mean, the sport of drifting, we use full-blown racetracks all around the world, and we're judged and executed on how we uh, position the car. Uh, for Crown Range, we're very fortunate to have the council um, backing us, the Mayor Vanessa of Queenstown as well, to really showcase uh, professional drifting and the precision driving involved. Um, we block the road off uh, every half an hour for half an hour, no longer than four minutes, and um, got to execute you know, a, a run from top to bottom. Um, and we would have the helicopters and the film crew would change each run, you know, they'd be in a different area uh, to get the overall package. So, um, yeah, I mean, it was just a real awesome opportunity, not only for, for myself, for the sport of drifting, but uh, for New Zealand as well to showcase what a beautiful country we have. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely safe to say it was well planned out. So um, what we want to know now is where did you get the name Mad Mike from? I actually hated the name at the start. It came from a commentator. I think it was actually Mike Crew, actually. He was uh, commentating at the Big Day Out, and uh, we were doing a freestyle motocross demo. There was only like three Kiwi guys that were hitting the ramps, and uh, that all the rest were, had been flowing in from Australia. And he kind of knew what the tricks were, was, like the seat grabs and what have you, and I just I hadn't really learned any tricks. Like I just show up on the day and do what I could and just throw my limbs and arms and crash and that's that's where the name came from and since then it's stuck and like I said I didn't like the start the name at the start but now it gives me something to when I show up to whether it's Japan or USA or, or any event uh, the fans and the people kind of all expect to you know Mad Mike what do they call it Mad Mike so it's something like I've got to live up to the name as well and really showcase something something spectacular. You've got to show a bit of madness. So um, the drift cars, obviously they're quite different to other race cars that we see, but, but how are they different? Um, so they are they're based on a street car. There's rules and regulations uh, within what we are allowed to do them. Um, but engine wise and suspension wise, you're pretty much open. Um, I mean, we run the rotary engines, we run Mazdas. Uh, that's just by preference. It's not because of any sponsorship deal or anything. It's something I've always been into the rotary since I was like 13 years old. And it's quite an iconic piece to New Zealand as well. New Zealand and Australia is very well known for the rotary engines. So we run those, they've built everything here in house uh, in New Zealand as well. And so, you know, for us, we run a thousand horsepower engines and go and do what we can against, you know, we're up against multi million dollar budgets with the guys up in USA. They're factory backed by some of the biggest car manufacturers such as uh, Chevrolet and Ford Racing. So, to do it in a, one of our cars, the RX-7, which is probably the most famous one actually behind us on the wall here for that we're using Crown Range, is a 1992 RX-7, so it is an old car, but you know, it's more about the development, the way you set it up to suit the driver's personality and the driver's style. Cool. I didn't know that New Zealand was known for its rotary engines, so thanks for teaching us that. Hey, now you are starting an event, well, it's kind of, you're planning an event called Drift Shifters in New Zealand. Yeah, so we did uh, last year, it was so the whole Red Bull gives you wings, uh, they fly ideas. So, you know, the, being the, the pinnacle of, of our sport, we're always looking for the next best thing. And um, drifting being a judge sport, there's always 
perception, you know, and could it be human error or what have you. So we wanted to create an event that was real easy for the spectators to follow as well. And um, to design a giant pinball machine, which we did last year just before Christmas in Auckland City. And uh, we flew in top, the top guys from Japan, Europe, uh, USA. We uh, shipped their cars down here and uh, selected eight of the best New Zealand drivers as well to join in for the show. That is very yeah. cool, mate. And of course, it's going to be a free event. So if you want to head along or find out any information, madmike.co.nz is the place to go. Thank you so much for joining us, Mike. All right, no worries. Oh, no. Now we need to follow this up with something else extreme. So I think this is perfect.